Welcome to lecture number 57 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in this lecture we'll learn about IES. So let's get started. If you don't know what IES is, IES is actually a way of distribution of light from a point source. It's actually pretty straightforward. All we have to do is bring in a point light and apply some IES texture on it. Okay. So let's get straight into it. First of all, let me adjust the sun sky. I'll select my sun sky and let's adjust these values. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's now bring in a point light. I'll go into lights and I'll bring in a point light. Let's uh, move this on Z axis. I'm going to move this on X. And let's uh, move this on Y. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, increase the intensity. I'm going to try 10,000. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's now import IES textures. I'll go into the content folder and I'll create a new folder. I'm going to rename this as IES. I'll open this folder and let's import the IES textures. I simply googled them, you can download them from any website, but I also have a link in the description so you can download it from there if you want, okay? Yeah. Now all we have to do is drop any IES texture on this slot, okay? So let's say I want to try this one, I'll simply drag this and drop it in here, okay? Let me adjust the position, let's uh, rotate this on Y axis by 90. And let's increase the intensity. Let's try 20,000. Or uh, maybe 50,000. Yeah, I think this one looks better. I'll press G on my keyboard to hide those icons. Let's press G to get them back. Let's try another texture. I'm going to try this one. Okay. And instead of having an ordinary sort of light distribution, we have some very nice distribution of light rays. Okay. Yeah. Similarly, you can try another texture. I'll press G on my keyboard. Let's try this one. Yeah. I'll press G again. Similarly, you can use these IES textures for different lamps. Okay. Yeah. Let's try um, maybe this one or maybe this one. I think this one was okay. Yeah. Let's bring down the intensity. Let's uh, try 30,000. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's now bring in a light model so that we can place that model on top of this light okay i'll go into content and let's import that model in the ies folder so i'll click on import and i'll select this model and i'll import it i downloaded this model from cg trader you can find the link of this model in the description okay let's bring this into the scene I'll scale this up. Yeah. Let's rotate this on Z axis by 90. I'll pull this up on Z axis. Let me press G to see those icons. And let's find a position. Yeah. 
yeah i think this is okay let's select this bulb as well and i'll pull this down on z axis yeah i think this position is okay yes let me select this light and let's pull this on z axis maybe i think i should move this on y yeah let's keep it here fractionally move this down on z axis yeah like that okay yes let's find a texture you can use any texture you want but for the sake of simplicity i'm just going to use this one okay yeah let me increase the exposure we'll search for post process volume and I'll increase the exposure yeah I think this looks good let's uh, move this on Z axis yeah I think this is okay yeah you can try these IES textures on the spotlight as well but I highly suggest you to use them on a point light because in spotlight you'll have to adjust the cone angles which may not allow the IES texture to direct the light properly okay yeah so yes that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture we'll work on decals so yes i'll see you guys in the next one